Alright guys, so we're going to talk about Jeffrey Epstein here. Um, so, <laughs> welcome to Demonetize Phil. Um, but yeah, the FBI investigates a criminal enterprise in Jeffrey Epstein's death. Prison chief admits uh, us males and female guards are in, uh, indicated for browsing the internet for eight hours instead of checking on the pedophile and, laying on, and lying on inspection forms on the night he died. So, it appears my coffee mug's always been moved around. Always been moved. Yes, but does it make those sort of noises trip? That's what we need to know, right? Does it make those sort of fart noises? Because I, I don't believe it. I really don't. To me, I think it's... I think it's... Yeah, I think it's just him. He's, someone's letting some... Someone's letting it rip on on national radio, on national TV, and they seem to care more about their image than they do about, obviously, going through and... Yeah. But anyway. But let's talk about Jeffrey Epstein. So, it appears that instead of going through and checking on the night of Jeffrey Epstein's death, the the uh, the judges, the sorry, the prison guards, were supposedly looking up porn. Or browsing the internet. Whatever that may mean. To me, that means porn. But anyway. Hey, look, at the end of the day, I'm not going to go vilifying anybody for watching... It was the confetti mug. Oh, boy. I'm not going to brow... I'm not going to... I'm not going to drag anybody or drag anybody for looking up porn. Or doing it at work, you know. But, you know, browsing the internet for eight hours. Mm. Okay, so maybe it wasn't porn. Maybe it was Facebook. Maybe it was Twitter. But I do find it really, really interesting that after all these questions keep coming out about Jeffrey Epstein, how did he die? How did he die? How did he die? A month later, a month and a half later, <laughs> you guys about Jeffrey Epstein, I won't know who's farted. <laughs> so, yeah, like a month later, a month and a half later, now we're hearing about these guys, these guards that were browsing the internet for eight hours straight. To be honest, I I don't know if I believe this story. I don't know I'll, I'll believe... It just... It seems like it's an easy way out. It seems like they're going through and they're chucking the guards under the bus. Look, I'm not saying the guards are innocent on all this, right? But... People should not be on the computer at work. That is true. I agree with that. That is a probably a good point, right? I'll be back when we get back to the fighting. Okay. Um, but like I say, yeah, at the end of the day, as for Epstein, look, I... I Yeah, you're right. They probably shouldn't be on surfing the internet, for example, right? But at the end of the day, I don't know. This seems like they're just chucking the guards under the bus. This seems like a lot of people are asking questions regarding Jeffrey Epstein's death and all of a sudden now it's like we need an excuse we need to know we need a reason we need a reason why these guards weren't doing their job that's it they were looking up internet they were searching the internet it's just they're going to do everything they can to sweep this away true I really do think they will um, they have a bit of a fight on their hands though but obviously uh, criminal charges expected against two of Jeffrey Epstein's prison guards Criminal charges could be filed early as Tuesday against two of the correctional officers who were charged with guarding convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein at the time of his death. According to the report published Monday by the Assassinated Press, two sources confirmed that two of the guards on duty on the night of Epstein's death are likely being charged with falsifying the prison records indicating they had performed all their scheduled um, uh, welfare checks on the prisoner. The charges are expected to... Like I said, this just seems like they're throwing them under the bus. Criminal charges expected... Uh, uh, is that the same story? Different... Oh, Daily Caller. Yeah, okay. And Breitbart's talking about it as well. Um, but, you know, the, it's not all about these prison guards either. We have this as well. Jane Doe, 15. Sues Jeffrey Epstein's estate alleging sexual assault. Wow, she's really pretty there. Um, I, I'm presuming she's above age. If she's not, I retract that statement. 
Um, another woman has come forward alleging that she was sexually assaulted as a teenager by now deceased pedophile Jeffrey Epstein and called on Britain's Prince Andrew to cooperate with the federal authorities regarding his former friend's alleged crimes. The New York City lawsuit filed Monday, un the unnamed 31-year-old woman alleges Epstein, uh, Epstein uh, R-A-P-E-D, her while she was 15 years old and later said that in a press conference that it was preposterous to suggest the disgraced fiancier's friends were unaware of many of his wrongdoings. Epstein was arrested in July, June 6, 2019 on child trafficking charges and was found dead in his New York City cell on August the 10th. Right? Um, now, Epstein was only a small part of this indicious system of privilege that exploits children as sexual commodities and robs them of their youth, the woman told reporters while flanked by her attorney, uh, Goya Allred. Wire photos reveal that she was wearing bracelets that spelled out the phrase, Epstein didn't kill himself. And Abby... <laughs> oh, that meme's never going to die. An ambiguous meme questioning the official autopsy of the late convict. The medical examiner in this case... Uh, medic, uh, in this case, ruled the death of suicide... But his brother, Mark Epstein, has said believers uh, has said he believes he did not kill himself, which no one really does, right? Let's face facts: no one really believes that Epstein killed himself. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, Prince Andrew is in a lot of trouble at the moment uh, because he decided to go through on uh, on BBC and do an interview. I'm not going to play the whole thing here because, well, BBC has a habit of obviously claiming videos and stuff like that. Um, but... Let's... Here is the video here. Let's go through and play some of this for you. Just so you get an idea of what we're talking about. fallout growing from that interview with Prince Andrew, answering questions for the first time about his friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. So obviously Stephen this is Pilgrim not the BBC. Good morning, Eve. But Good morning, Robin. This whole thing is highly unusual. It's rare you see interviews with the royal family in any circumstance, let alone on something like this. And this interview sparking an immediate firestorm. One UK paper calling the prince entitled and obtuse. Backlash this morning. Prince Andrew speaking publicly for the first time about his relationship with now deceased multimillionaire and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Do I regret the fact that he has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming? Yes. Unbecoming? He was a sex offender? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being polite uh, in the sense that he was a sex offender. But no. Um, uh, was I right in, in, in having him as a friend? At the time, and bearing in mind this was some years before he was accused of being a sex offender. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I'm sorry, I don't believe you. Because at the end of the day, we've been knowing about this. We've been hearing and shining a bright spotlight on this for years. This channel has been going for three years now. Right? Three years, nonpartisan media has been up and running. And we have been talking about Epstein the whole three years. And we knew about it, I knew about it, before that even. The rumours about Epstein have been going back for five, ten years. And you're going on about now, oh, yeah, we didn't really know. Bullshit, you didn't know. Bullshit. Prince Andrew, Queen Elizabeth's second son and eighth in line to the British throne, telling BBC's Newsnight he has no regrets about his friendship with the businessman. Now, still not. The reason being is that, that the, the people that I met 
um, and the opportunities that I was given to learn, either by him or because of him, were actually very useful. In 2008, Epstein was convicted of soliciting prostitution from a... Right, but... Holy shit, man. It, it, I don't regret my relationship with a sex offender because I got to meet some really nice people. What? I know Epstein was connected, but couldn't you have gone through and made those connections on your own? And, and you can see at the moment, you can see how this bad, uh, you can see how bad this looks, right? Like, it, it's, it's really bad. But I do find it very, very interesting, and I tweeted this out uh, earlier today, or, or late yesterday. The media is hyper-focusing on Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew is not the only person involved in this scandal. There are thousands of people involved with Jeffrey Epstein. Thousands. He, he, Epstein gave a thousand names the, the day before he died. Don't, don't think that's suspect or you're a conspiracy theorist. But he gave a thousand names of clients. Prince Andrew, sure, he's involved. But the Prince of Saudi Arabia, I believe, was involved. Bill Clinton is involved. You know, uh, all these all these other people, you know, these, these investment bankers, these kings of Wall Street, politicians. There's two senators, two Democratic senators over in America are involved with Epstein. But instead... They only want to talk about Prince Andrew. Why is it they're only talking about him? Why aren't they going through and talking about the other ones as well? It, it, to me, and I'm not defending Prince Andrew when I say that, right? But this guy is a scapegoat. He is someone... That, that, that we can publicly lynch, they're thinking, we can publicly lynch him, and at the end of the day, once we've lynched him, everybody will hopefully move on. He's the sacrificial lamb that has been led to the slaughter because of the, the rich, the powerful, the elites, the whatever you want to call them, don't want anybody else being dragged down because of this, right? There's a lot of people that have a lot to lose. Prince Andrew, he's actually not that involved, right? He met this girl three times. Bill Clinton flew on Epstein's plane 26 times. There are people that are more involved with Epstein than Prince Andrew, but the media doesn't care. Why is that? Because they're covering for them. They're covering for the rich. They're covering for the powerful. And this Prince Andrew is nothing more than a sacrificial lamb that they can lead to the slaughter. And hopefully everybody else will forget about it. Hopefully everybody will move on as long as we have someone that we can hang from town square. Yeah, like Odefon says, he's a scapegoat. He's the guy, he's the piñata. We can hoist him up, hang him in the middle of town square. Everybody comes along and gives it a good old beating. Hopefully something will fall out in the way of charges. And then everybody can forget all about it, right? That's, that's what it is all about. It's, look at this guy, Prince Andrew. He's the one that, he's involved. He, don't worry about everybody else. Like, here, I'll, I will get you, um, so, Jeffrey Epstein, um, list of, list of names. Let's just type that in, see if that comes up with anything. Uh, Gloria Allred needs to be disarmed. Why did, why did you say that for? I don't get why you why you get going on about Gloria Allwood. But anyway, um, all 
Right, so here's a booking, uh, a list of names. Now, we'll take these, take these names as a grain of salt, right? Because obviously we will have to fact check them and everything like that. But this is what this this website is saying. So, um, so here. Uh, names, names, names. Right, FBI Auto says the list have ended up. You can also, uh, you can, you can view the actual book here. Oh well, that'll be interesting. Uh, I can't actually click on it. It's it's a hyperlink that doesn't work anymore. Funny that. Um, now they're claiming Donald Trump. We've gone through that so many times. We can talk about that if if guys really really want. But they're claiming Donald Trump. Um, Bill Clinton, which we know about because of the whole 26 times he flew on the plane. Um, so... Right, uh, among uh, Donald Trump, Courtney Love, former Israeli Prime Minister, Edra Buck, uh, the Uber lawyer Alan Dozowitz. Many have been identified by the butler as potential material witnesses to pedophilia from billionaire Jeffrey Epstein's crime against young girls. Gorka reported in 2015. Um, the uh, the anoted copy of the address book, which also contains entries for Alec Baldwin, Ralph Finns. Griffin Dunes, New York Post gossip Richard Johnson, Ted Kennedy, David Josh, Josh filmmaker Andrew Jarrock, and all manner of other people. Like, there is so many people involved in this. Now, I, I don't think they want to keep saying Trump. I don't think Trump's involved, right? I think Trump. I think Trump realized what was going on, and that's when he and kicked him out of Malo Lago, right? And that's obviously when we heard about that. Um, I I want to I want a list. I want a complete list of everybody that was in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Um, see, every time I can find a link to the black book, it doesn't work. Have to have a look in this, eh? I'll have to look for it. George Michael is apparently listed. Ex Prime Minister Tony Blair is recorded once. Like Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger. Michael Bloomberg is in there. Apparently. But look, at the end of the day, these are people that he had dealings with, right? Some of them might be just business dealings. So, I, I, I don't want to go... We'll see it in... Yeah, unfortunately, that's the problem. We will see it in about 50 years. You're exactly right. Like... And this is the thing that bugs me the most about this, right? You know, why, why should we have to wait 50 years to find out these names? I want the names now, damn it. Maybe I should do a video, a standalone video, putting out all the names of the people that are involved. What do you guys reckon? wonder how long that video would stay up for. Now, obviously, criminal charges expected this week against the Epstein guards, which were pretty much covered. 
like I say, they're, they're just they're going to make scapegoats. I reckon these guards they're going to be a scapegoat. Uh, there's Prince Andrew. He's he's a scapegoat. Uh, in the US, it'll be deemed national security and will go away. That's a good point too, actually. We will see the unredacted JFK files before we see the name list. Yeah. 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 True. Very true. But yeah, these these guards, look, I'm not saying they're innocent, right? I'm not saying the guards didn't do anything wrong, right? Sure. Did, they, did I think they checked on Jeffrey Epstein? Probably not. But at the end of the day, there are bigger fish to fry so to speak, than these prison guards. Why, why are we caring so much about these guards? And that's, that's the thing that bugs me the most, is that there are people committed of far worse crimes, and at the end of the day, they seem to care more about charging the, the guards, and charging Prince Andrew, or going after Prince Andrew, who, like I said, yes, Prince Andrew is a creep. Yes, Prince Andrew probably didn't do anything right. Uh, didn't do anything right, wrong. Didn't do anything right. What? Prince Andrew fucked up, right? Sure. But at the end of the day, there are people that are associated with Jeffrey Epstein who did a lot worse. Why is it they're dragging the Prince Andrew, obviously, and not worrying about Bill Clinton or whatever it may be that flew 26 times? You're going to tell me Bill Clinton didn't know that Jeffrey Epstein was having a whole bunch of underage girls on his plane while while Bill Clinton was being flown around in the plane? You know, the one that was dubbed the Leader Express? Now, obviously, another interesting thing that we've since learnt is that this Maxwell, this this female procurer, 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 whatever it may be, for Jeffrey Epstein... And everybody's looking out for her, right? The internet is literally actively right now searching for her. We've also learned that now that she had a, a helicopter's license, which she obviously used to go through and to get Jeffrey, uh, to get the victims onto the, onto the island, but also apparently a submarine license. Now, I'm wondering... Was there anything listed under Jeffrey Epstein's assets that was a submarine? Was this what they were using to traffic some of the girls around the world? Why would she go and get a submarine license if it was irrelevant? So I would really want to know, did Jeffrey Epstein's assets, was there anything there that was to do with a submarine? You know, is there a submarine port or a, a seaport or something on the island that they, they might have used to, you know, like is there caves or something, underwater caves or something that they might have used? I know it sounds a little Bond villainish, but you got to remember these people were shipping girls around this island and around the world, right? They would have had to go to extreme lengths to make sure that these girls were not found. So, yeah, I, I want to know. Is there something under Jeffrey Epstein's assets that was like a submarine? And I, I'm going to look into that in my spare time. So, if I end up committing suicide, uh, investigate me then, please. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I, I'm going to have a look at that. I've got next week off work, guys. So I'm going to do a little bit of research into Jeffrey Epstein, into this whole submarine thing, uh, and just see if there was anything that was under his assets and see what I can find. So we'll go from there. Because let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding Jeffrey Epstein. Do you think at the end of the day that he that, 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 that the guards have been a scapegoat? Is Prince Andrew been a scapegoat? Do you think that we should be more focused on people that are actually involved? Like, for example, the Clintons, uh, the Saudi prince, or whoever it may be. Um, do you think at the end of the day the mainstream media is going through and trying to trying to make these scapegoats so people will move on? <laughs> we, we can't investigate you because we don't know who you really are. But that's a very good point. Although, yesterday, I will admit, I turned my webcam on for five seconds and I showed you my wall. 
So there's that, right? You you, you do have a, a a view of my wall and weaponized autism 4chan might be able to figure that out. But anyway, all jokes aside. But yeah, there are people that are associated with this channel that do know me in person just in case anything does happen. Uh, there's about three people, so yeah. Um, but yeah, but apart from that, guys, obviously at the end of the day, let me know what your thoughts are in the, the comment section below. Um, I saw your hand too. <gasps> I know, my hand. I know. Like, yeah, I don't have any tattoos or anything, hey, because that might help you find me. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below.